campuses all across America, including right here in Storage, Connecticut. There is excitement in the air. The college basketball season officially gets underway. Tonight, UConn plays host to Colgate. All the action coming your way right here on SNY. Junior from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and well, the new center for Connecticut, number 23, Eric Cobb, and he controls the tip, and here we go. The college hoop season is underway. Big key, a quality point guard who knows how to play the game is not going to make a lot of mistakes. Antoine Anderson from downtown, nothing but nylon. So the first bucket of the season is a three from Antoine Anderson. Downtown. Terry Larrier runs it down off the window and so soft it in. He was a red shirt with a chronic knee issue, but a top 100 recruit coming out of high school. Larrier, not bashful, and Terry Larrier. That, the offensive rebound, it's knocked away. Quick hands, Anderson getting it ahead to Polly, who glides in. And there's the first bucket of Polly's first of his collegiate career. Patel to the trailing. Terry Larrier knocks down another three. Anchorage, Alaska native and comes from junior college in Arizona. Antoine Anderson, the high arcing jumper. Anderson, very pretty. He's got six points. All key members of this Connecticut team, and they had three big transfers. And Carlton goes in with a two-hand stuff. Trying to get back in this game. A year ago, Connecticut was a game under 500. They want to begin on a quick note tonight. But they're coming with that leg, but so far he's just playing in a great flow. He doesn't look rusty at all and playing with a lot of confidence. And it's so important, as you see, without Alex. Beautiful floater from Terry Larrier. Well, you see the, the fluidity, the ability to get his defender off balance, move one way and then spin back the other. Another important factor in his recovery, just the ability to go both ways with a lot of confidence. And they seem to be rotating better and putting a little bit more pressure on the basketball. Nice up fake right there. A beautiful floater from Alexandre Gilbert. Can't get it to go. The shooting percentage is coming down a little bit. Beautiful. Euro step to the bucket right there by Alexandre Gilbert. So this Tyler Polly giving it up for Anderson. This is Christian Patel, Larrier at the foul line. There's that 15 foot jump shot by Terry Larrier. It did right there. I like that play by Gilbert. It shows a lot of toughness and intelligence on defense. That's Tyler Polly. Tyler Polly buries the three. Out all of the use of Connecticut, Tyler Polly is one of those guys that knows how to play the game. You see him spacing out on the weak side. And this is what Connecticut has to do. Change sides of the floor, find the open man, and then, of course, knock it in. Steven Enoch, a transfer to Louisville. And Kevin told us this morning, I want guys who want to be here as the soft 10 foot turnaround goes down for Terry Larrier. Space off the bounce. He averaged just under 13 points a game a year ago, so he can score it for Colgate. Nice dump inside for Larrier. That's a beautiful move by Terry Larrier. Not even close. Shot clock doesn't reset, but there's Isaiah Whaley. Baxter just checking into the game, has it knocked away by Whaley. Here's Christian Vitell. All the way to the bucket, off the window, and he's got a chance at a three-point play. Strong move to the hoop by Christian Vitell. A couple key possessions with Larrier out of the game and coming back in, but UConn doing a nice job defensively and turning defense into offense, and this is what Vitell can do. He's got that toughness, that ability just to put his chin down, his chest into the defender and finish in traffic, exploiting the defense. There's the freshman, Charlton working and Isaiah Whaley there he is again he's everywhere right now guys out like Isaiah Whaley when they're around the basket but when they come from the foul line area forget about it seems very positive with these guys letting them play through their mistakes well, a step back by Terry Larrier shot won't go Larrier working inside that knocks it away but there's Whaley and again Isaiah Whaley very active on the offensive glass Ooh. This is what we talked about, being able to go get rebounds out of your area and the length of Larrier showing in the lane there, but Whaley with the presence of mind again with the second effort. 
happened a year ago where they were a game under 500, their first losing season since Jim Calhoun's first year here at Connecticut. A tough shot right there. Dots, when he was at Fordham, not afraid in big situations well, to have the ball in his hands. Exactly, and that's why you bring in a grad student transfer. You got to make sure that he's played at this level. He's, made, he's played in big games and drew the defense and found Swapshire wide open. He's been really impressive. Five assists to go along with his 11 points, but there's Connecticut back the other way. The offensive end, Jordan Burns at six feet was got matched up on the mismatch there down in the box, and this is easy money for Larrier, but Anderson got poked in the face. Larrier trying to go to work on Swapshire. There's Terry Larrier. Ice water in his veins. Terry Larrier now with 24 to lead the way for Connecticut. Oh. Over Anderson. Giving it up to Larrier. Terry Larrier, big smile on his face, and rightly so. Big post, he's done on a low post, he's done on the base baseline, the high post from the three-point line, and that is a smooth player. And Connecticut is going to pick up an opening night victory here over Colgate. Christian Vital bounces out the clock, and that is it. Kevin Ollie and company open up in style as they get the win here over Colgate. 70 to 58, and that's eight consecutive wins for the Huskies over the Raiders.